Hi class, how you doing? Uh, today I'm at Red Rock Conservation Area just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, and I wanted to show you this really neat geologic feature. So in this hillside behind me, there are two different formations. There's the orange colored one and then sitting above that is a really gray colored one. Uh, the orange one, that is the Aztec sandstone and that was deposited in a giant sand dune desert about 180 million years ago. Um, it's the equivalent of what's at Zion National Park, well, which we call the Navajo sandstone. Uh, same thing, just different name. The gray rock above that, that is called the Bonanza King Formation. And that was deposited in a shallow sea environment about 520 million years ago. Well, if you look at those two rock formations, those two layers, there's something rather odd. Uh, if you remember the principle of superposition, younger rocks are supposed to lie or sit above older rocks. And here we have that gray limestone at the top. That's 520 million years old. And the orange rock below that, it's much younger. It's 180 million years old. So clearly something unique is going on here. Well, what happened was about 100 million years ago, this entire region was undergoing a lot of tectonic convergence. And the tectonic plates, what, plates were under stress, and this stress caused faults to form, and it caused the, the crust and the lithosphere to thicken in this region, and mountains form. Well, as this compression occurs, the crust doesn't really like to be under a lot of stress, kind of like you. Uh, so it reacts in certain ways. And one of the ways that the crust can react is by fracturing and displacing, or in other words, it can fault. And in this situation, 100 million years ago, during this compressional event, you had a fault that ramped up older rocks and placed them on top of younger rocks. Uh, this is called a thrust fault. Uh, so what we're seeing behind me is the result of a fairly large scale thrust fault that placed this older rock, the Bonanza King Formation, above the younger rock, the Aztec Sandstone. Uh, when this happened, it created a large mountain range. Not these mountains you see behind me here. This mountain range was much, much taller. And since that time, uh, much of this has eroded away and has exposed uh, this wonderful outcrop with this uh, thrust fault separating the, the Bonanza King Formation and the Aztec Sandstone. 